Hi guys, I hope everyone is doing great. This is MJ. We haven't seen each other for a couple of days, so I thought it's high time to do um, some April check-in for the next couple of days of April. And this time I decided to do it a little differently. Um, I pulled an oracle card before the recording to give me a little time to tune in into that energy. And what I received was a card of motivation. So what it tells me is that for the next couple of days of April, remember that time is fluid and we're all on a different timeline. So it may apply a little differently to every one of us, right? But generally in the next couple of days of, of April, a week or so, depending where you are, it's time, you know, to put your plans into reality. Our plans, I should say. Um... It's time to take action. If there is um, a specific question that you're looking for an answer to, then with this card, the answer is a very big and very positive yes. So whatever that is for you, this card confirms that this is the right choice, the right direction to turn into. Um, you know, what will be important is not trying to tackle everything at once, but more breaking those big pieces and breaking them into smaller tasks that will definitely help to um, move things forward like step by step in a more methodical way rather than um, in chaos. Planning is very important um, and maintaining your um, willpower. And then, you know, this card also tells us not to put off any decisions or plans. So it's not the time to postpone. It's actually the time uh, to act. Um, there is some extra activity indicated for some. It may include moving, changing the place of living. It may be about travel. Uh, but it seems that this activity um, will be very positive. Um, and what is actually... You know, quite symbolic is that even because this is um, an oracle that uses flowers, right, as as the pictures, flowers of the night oracle. And this particular um, flower is four o'clock, whatever that is, because I'm not a specialist on those flowers yet, but it does give that sense of, you know, that the time is now, that this is the time. Right with this clock, it's time to take action. And what actually was very interesting is that at the bottom of the deck, when the motivation card showed up, at the bottom of the deck, there was passion. And both of them are quite similar to me, right? When we're motivated about achieving something, it means that we're passionate about it, whether that's work, whether that's um, creative projects, whether that's a relationship, right? When we are motivated, to do something, achieve something, then we're also passionate about it. So it, it really seems that this is the time of um, putting our plans into reality uh, and being very determined and passionate about um, finally creating some tangible results. Okay. I really like that. I would, maybe I will leave both of those cards. And now... A quick check of what the tarot cards have to say about the couple upcoming days of April. Let's do it traditionally. I will take a card for mind space, physical space, and our soul space. Can we get a card for the mind space, please? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. Um, very interesting. Tiredness of broken heart. That's what I'm getting. The Three of Swords is primarily that, that card of heartache. Um, for some reason, I'm, I'm looking at, at it this time more as if someone is tired of that feeling. So perhaps there's that motivation to get... Um, out of this, right? Out of this state of being brokenhearted or perhaps someone already did, right? Queen of 
between the wands right under so i would say that yes there's either there is this motivation and passion to get to get out of this state of feeling broken hearted but um a lot of us out there have already went through that it's like a release of that energy so in our mind space um the empress Right, well, with this motivation and passion, it actually makes perfect sense. The Empress is all about creating, creation. We had the Empress in the last reading, but I, I think it was in the physical space. When it's in the mind space, the Empress will talk about the abundance of ideas. Um, you know, it's almost as if the horizons have widened and we see more opportunities than we used to but this is also you know about realizing that the creation is in our hands right so we give birth um to our ideas to wh whatever that is again take it as it resonates it, it will apply to any area of your life depending where you are and, and depending on your situation but this is about realizing that whatever we want is actually in our hands to be created we give birth to it it's like our child whether that's a work project a relationship or just ourselves that thing that we give birth to is our child we nurture it and we bring it to life right in our mind space i would say that's a realization of the resourcefulness of that creation power that is in our hands it's like the mind has opened up to realize that it's not about me waiting for something to come but i'm actually motivated and passionate to create it on my own right i don't want to wait any longer see that's three and that's three we have two threes here but i, I no longer want to be in this state of lacking something actually i'm gonna go and create it myself if i don't want to be unhappy i'm gonna go and create that happiness for myself right so there is an opening of that mind space to realize that things are really in our own hands, right? And that motivation and passion, it's obviously in our heart as well, but it's also in our mind to realize what is it that we want and be motivated enough to go and reach for it. In our physical space, um, Eight of Cups, so you know the motivation was mentioning something about movement it can be a move or travel the eight of cups is about leaving the place that no longer serves you and moving in the pursuit of the ninth cup right so in the eight of cups we've went through all the experiences and the lessons that we were meant to we've learned what we were supposed to learn on this stage and there's nothing else for us it's time to move on right but it's also about um, moving on to find happiness and emotional satisfaction. You know, this is often um, an inner journey, right? Because it takes place um, at night, right? So it's, it's a kind of an inner journey. But in the physical space, it may mean that you're actually physically moving, changing place, maybe traveling um, to meet someone, right? But there's definitely a move in the physical space and that pursuit of like you know there is nothing else where you are now for you like you've used that opportunity up to its limits and it's time for you to it may be a career move right it may be taking a relationship to another level it may be just taking care of yourself and your physical body in another way like perhaps you're leaving behind certain habits that no longer serve you right but there's definitely that movement and change that you are making on your own choice so it also makes sense with that empress in the mind space when you realize the opportunities that are ahead of you and that it's all in your hands to reach out for them and create the reality that you want then you physically also make that move towards it right first there's the realization of the possibility and then there's the actual move towards it right And then in our soul space, we have the temperance. Um, and I really like that because this is a card of great serenity. It's like 
this is peace and restoring balance you know it, it comes after the death card so it may be a card of getting back to health after um you know an upheaval period uh, it, it could be just like something of a tower moment that you know very tiring something intense and with the temperance card we restore that balance right deep emotional healing it can be very spiritual for some as well um but there is peace or at least there's that conscious decision made that i want this peace right realization that it's all in my hands then there is physical move towards that that deep peace um, and healing on a soul level where we finally feel good you know on those deepest levels of our being right and definitely when we create something you know it can be a, an actual pregnancy for some but when we are creating something not only we need that motivation and passion but we need peace right we need that serenity to allow our ideas to flow this is that beautiful balance it, it can also be a little about balance between mind and soul that they're in line But I feel that for a lot of you, with especially with this, there is a certain move towards I don't want to be unhappy anymore, so I'm actually taking it into my own hands and moving and making that conscious decision to move brings deep peace on a soul level and that realization that it's all in your hands, everything depends on you. I hope you liked it. If you did, please let me know, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, please take care. Bye.